looking at uh, model sim simulator and uh, uh, we were on the last leg of the sim and we have been um, uh, seeing how to save uh, the format of the waveforms that we have already created and uh, in fact we encountered a little difficulty and I mentioned that uh, it must have been saved uh, elsewhere other than the current folder where we were uh, working. So, uh, let us complete that task before we proceed to uh, synthesis and uh, we were at this step here 13. Uh, we say that uh, to save the waveform format click on floppy disk symbol or file save format and in the open window type sequential circuits dot do and click save. So, it can be a sequential circuit or any other design. Uh, let us see what we want to have first and uh, let us see this aspect. So, the model sim window is already open and uh, let us uh, type uh, pwd to see where we were. So, we are in uh, d user rom dvlsi um, uh, etc uh, folder and uh, the files that you have here can be displayed by command called directory which you are already familiar and uh, you can just have a look I mean it may be difficult for you to uh, have a look here and I will uh, say this is sequential circuits and combination circuits uh, elsewhere. So, it is uh, we will have to wade through this listing uh, it is here. So, also uh, we should make sure that we are in library uh, work directory and uh, let us uh, first um, open a waveform. Uh, before we open the waveform, let us uh, load the design. So, we see here a list of all the files that we desire and um, being a simulator we need to load the test bench as such. Let us say we want to load combination circuits test bench. So, you double click on this and uh, then press load. So, the design is loaded without any problem and uh, next step is to uh, after uh, uh, we did not compile because we had done it earlier and what uh, what all we have done is uh, load design because uh, this is preparatory for uh, uh, saving the file in the desired format that you want and then to retrieve uh, at the next session when you want to continue again. Uh, it may be after break. So, uh, we are precisely in that uh, status right now and uh, now let us see what we have to do. Uh, uh, we want to first invoke the waveform. So, you use view then signals and all the signals are uh, listed there and uh, once again view wave then the last thing uh, of the menu signals in design will have to be clicked. So, a yeah, uh, waveform opens and we do not uh, no longer require the signals. So, we dismiss it off and uh, we just drag it like that and uh, this partition also you can drag further 
and uh, you see all the uh, signals I was uh, all the signals listed here and its corresponding status corresponding to a cursor position is displayed here and this is the cursor that you see here and uh, uh, let us see uh, uh, how to run once again. This is a run all command. If you do that, it has run and displayed all the waveforms and it has also opened um, uh, its source file which is combination circuits test dot v and uh, we do not require this as such. So, we uh, display it off and uh, we can zoom in here this waveform and uh, be, uh, be, uh, the what we are trying to do is we are trying to save this waveform. Before we save the waveform, we will uh, just uh, enhance this um, uh, rather uh, make the signals apart from each other for which you need uh, what is called format height and then you have uh, 17 pixels which is the spacing of each of the signals and uh, we will make it say 50 pixels and uh, apply then, then say ok. Uh, nothing happened because I, I forgot to select some of these signals. Let us say uh, select these signals for example, uh, A, B, C then I naught and I uh, up to I 2 I am selecting here. So, I can use shift and then pr uh, and click and uh, these uh, signals are selected and uh, to these signals we are going to apply the uh, uh, format which is height once again this enter 50 here and apply and say ok. So, immediately you, uh, you see that all those signals under question have been uh, made um, different now. See the spacing is different here, uh, the highlighted signals alone and uh, rest of the signals continue to be what they are and if you just drag this bar here, you can see all other signals down below because there are innumerable signals in the design. So, you see uh, quite a lot of them and uh, so the question of interest is just remember uh, what we are going to do is just save this file so that uh, when you discontinue uh, now and uh, resume it after a day or two or even a week. Um, you can also always get back to uh, the point where you had left earlier and that is what uh, we are trying to do now. We want to save this and uh, just remember A, B, C, I naught through I 2 up to th that only we have done uh, I mean uh, increase the uh, spacing and uh, rest of it are all crowded and uh, let us save this file. So, I just uh, pressed uh, this uh, floppy here or you can say file and uh, save and uh, it opens at uh, that um, precisely the same folder that we were in and uh, let us uh, uh, name this here you have a file name here you can give a name here. Since we are working on the design combination circuits we will give the same name and uh, we also had to distinguish that it is a wave file and for which the nomenclature is dot devo. So, we give that also and uh, in fact, it may take automatically, but uh, since there are uh, two options available called devo and TCL, this TCL is uh, normally uh, meaning uh, perhaps timing closure normally used in uh, ASIC design as such and uh, right now we are, um, uh, we are not talking of any platform such as FPG or ASIC and uh, let us save this uh, as combination circuit dot do. Now, are we sure that we want to um, uh, just remember we are saving in etc folder. So, so let us see what happens. It says um, this combination circuit do is already existing. Do you want to replace it? It has. If it is uh, had we given some other name, uh, it would not have asked this question. Since we gave the uh, name which was uh, already there here listed. So, it uh, just uh, wanted to make sure that we really over, uh, want to overwrite it. Uh, otherwise, uh, the previous waveform that you had showed will uh, vanish from sight. So, well, uh, because we are not interested in the previous waveform, it is only for a uh, demonstration as such. So, we will just say yes. So, we have saved this waveform and um, uh, in uh, as combination circuits dot do in uh, etc folder. So, now the job is done, we want to wind up the present session. So, what we do is just dismiss the wave and also the model sim and uh, it uh, asks you whether you are um, sure to quit, yeah, we are sure. So, we say yes here and this precisely what we have done in this step 13. To save the waveform format, click on floppy disk symbol on or file 
um, save format and then uh, and in the open window type uh, combination circuits that do and click save in this case. So, this completes one session to exit the model sim click on file quit and say yes. Uh, in fact, we have uh, bypassed that and we simply press uh, x and dismiss stuff at one stroke. And now next time we want to log in I mean uh, use the same uh, model sim uh, simulator uh, you had to start out with uh, 15 and this can be after uh, any uh, period of uh, gap. Uh, if you want to use the model sim again to resume the same project double click on icon this is what you have already seen on your uh, desktop then click on a open, uh, open a project in welcome window make sure that the directory is the same as in 3 by clicking on library on the left bottom of the main window and typing pwd this also we have seen in the prompt field. Otherwise click file change directory and select the desired directory and click on open. And, uh, and this is what we had to do in, uh, in order to change from one directory to another. Suppose you, have ch uh, you were working in a uh, particular directory earlier and now you wish to uh, move on to some other directory you can use that uh, change of directory that is what it means here. And uh, next step is uh, load the test bench as shown in 5. So, what do we do this here and uh, the um, goal here is to retrieve what we have saved earlier. So, for that this uh, 17 step is necessary. So, in uh, 5 what we have is load design that is what it means there and the last step of the uh, simulator and uh, in the prompt field type now here this after loading the uh, test bench say combination circuits in this case you had to say do combination circuits dot do. So, this will load the waveform. Uh, which was uh, previously saved we saved in 13 that is that the step of I mean uh, 13 number. The decide waveform with the previously set format is retrieved repeat from 7 to continue with other functional parts testing. Uh, as we said before uh, we had um, uh, we could not um, uh, do all the testing at one uh, stroke uh, uh, in one session. So, it, ha it will have to be spread over several sessions and therefore, you need to have a break from period periodically. Um, and then um, uh, once you resume at any point of time then uh, you can go through these steps and uh, let us see uh, the actual uh, uh, real working of uh, model sim. Now, we see that there are no model sim because we have already closed that window. So, we need to open that we will uh, dismiss off all the windows by this symbol and then click on model sim in order to initiate the model sim. So, that is the icon there. So, it has opened uh, a model sim here and then say open a project. So, it says D users etc combination circuits this is what we want. So, we will say ok here and uh, click on library one as usual and you can uh, you have a work directory here and I uh, will make this a little bigger. So, that you can have a look and you see that combination circuits uh, then its test bench sequence circuits its test bench are all listed here. So, uh, that is of interest to us here. Now, what um, that uh, 17th step said is we need to load the uh, design first without loading the design there is no uh, meaning for loading a waveform. So, we will have to first do uh, a loading of the actual design. The design here is uh, it is not really the design it is the test bench because we are uh, using simulator at the top level is always the test bench and not the design. And uh, let us see what uh, how, uh, you are already familiar with loading the design. So, just click on design load design and then uh, double click on combination circuits test as we have done before and it appears here and then say load and it has successfully loaded once again. So, now at this step what should we do? Uh, let us make uh, uh, print this directory to make sure whether the file that we have saved is there or not. See combination circuits dot do we had saved earlier and uh, this 7th 2023 928 now it is 933 just 5 minutes before we have saved this and that is what is reported here. So, we are now sure that when we uh, invoke this should come uh, let us see whether it will do. So, we have already loaded the uh, test bench now what we are doing is trying to retrieve the waveform. Uh, intact. So, we will uh, what we need to uh, give is combinational 
circuits dot do. So you just enter, let us see what happens. It opened the waveform as expected, let us see whether it has preserved what we had done earlier. And uh, before we see that, uh, if you want we can just make it bigger so that you will get a feel. So actually you can, what you will be seeing on the TV monitor is not the details, um, uh, uh, but only the spacing. You can uh, notice that A, B, C and I naught, I 1, I 2. I asked you to remember up to I 2 we had uh, um, changed the waveform heights, I mean spacing rather and uh, this uh, height probably is a misnomer. They must have uh, mentioned it as uh, spacing rather than uh, height as such. So, here you see I 3 beyond are all uh, very closely knit with each other, all these other signals. Only here it is uh, apart. That means we have retrieved what we have saved earlier. And uh, this will be a boon for uh, people who cannot do all at one stroke. From uh, time to time you may have to uh, have a break. So, you have to resume again and therefore, uh, this will be very handy for you. If you uh, uh, make it a habit to preserve these waveforms, and continue from where you left, next time you start all over again, uh, again for a new functionality uh, testing. And now let, uh, let us run this here, run all, you have a run and uh, all the waveforms have come and uh, you can uh, also see the source file invoked and it has stopped at the statement called dollar stop and that is precisely what we wanted and it has just obeyed our commands and we uh, you do not uh, need this any longer. So, we can just zoom in here, right, you can see more details. All these waveforms are uh, uh, spaced, uh, it may, uh, you can at least see the spacing here and uh, these waveforms are all very crowded, uh, you can see this, this will be easier to see and uh, the spacing. And thus, uh, we complete the model sim uh, with this and uh, we will go on to uh, next. Um, uh, tool called synthesis and uh, synthesis uh, um, is being uh, done here uh, in this uh, course by using uh, simplify uh, tool and we will dismiss of this uh, model sim first. Okay, here we have a simplify pro and uh, an icon which we need to uh, double click in order to open the simplify pro. So, it gives some, uh, it complains about setting because the server is in some other building, not in this uh, studio and uh, what we, uh, uh, we need not uh, take a special note of this, some uh, slight uh, time difference is there. So, you see a window open, uh, in total window we will uh, have a, a paint uh, zoomed version of this uh, shortly and uh, before that I just say that there is a window here which you can see to some extent, you can at least read this simplify pro here and perhaps run here and some open project, close project, add file, change file, all these details will go on uh, step by step and uh, finally, uh, um, view log is there and there are more commands below which we will be seeing uh, next and uh, before uh, that we will just see the so basic uh, simplify window is this and I will uh, just zoom here and once again uh, th this being a paint it looks so real that one may be tempted to click here, but uh, it has no meaning. If I click here what I will get is only a line here because I, am, uh, I have copied that window in paint as I had done before in the waveform. And uh, so what we have, but here it will work right on that uh, periphery. This is the actual uh, uh, paint window and those commands will work and using view here and then a zoom and then say custom and uh, 200 percent say and if I say ok, it will zoom that particular window. The whole window is zoomed here, so, so that it is convenient for you to have a look and uh, you can see file, edit, view, project, we will see one after uh, another later on and P stands for the project and this is save, it is like uh, any other windows uh, format and uh, scissors care for cut and so on. And uh, you also see here the directory uh, 
we had to deal with what are known as projects. We had to name a project as we had done earlier in uh, model sim and uh, so you can open a project through this or a close, close it and uh, you can add um, all the files belonging to a particular design by using add file and you can change the uh, project file if you wish and uh, suppose you want uh, to uh, change from one device to another. Uh, we are uh, once we say it is simplify we are uh, not in the realms of uh, ASIC design but only in FPGA design and uh, this simplify uh, supports all the uh, devices uh, in the world uh, so to say and uh, we will see shortly what devices are uh, supported and uh, we also have some uh, log file which will report uh, what is happening uh, during compilation, during mapping onto a particular device and so on. Before we go on, on to the details, we will first see uh, we have seen uh, uh, simplify invocation uh, as such uh, that is uh, double click on icon simplify pro on your desktop then uh, simplify window opens. This is what we have already seen and uh, uh, window has opened and uh, next step is uh, click on file then new to open a new project, a new window opens, click on project file, type combination circuits in uh, file name field and also type the decide file location where you wish the new project to reside. Click on ok, the project window opens and uh, let us see um, a zoomed version of uh, the window which we have been uh, actually seeing here and uh, that is what we have here and uh, if you click on this file here and uh, it will open a new window and uh, we will actually see how it does. See file here, there is uh, new menu here, let us click on this and uh, it opens uh, a project file here and uh, let us give the, uh, I had to click here and uh, for this also I have a separate window, zoomed window, let us have a look at that. So, this is the window we have, I will uh, zoom it for you. Uh, zoom window is here and uh, this is the uh, actual uh, simplify uh, window and uh, within that there is another window here called the new because we wanted a new project to be open and uh, we had to click on this, it is already uh, clicked. So, uh, it is highlighted here and uh, once you uh, click here, you can um, put what uh, project name you want to give. For example, this is a combination circuits. So, you give a combination uh, circuits here type here and, uh, and where should this be located that also you can give here and uh, uh, this is in one of the places here and uh, you can change that if you want uh, by clicking on this and the entire path this plus this combination circuits appear right on this here, you can see that combination circuits here. So, this is the uh, window for uh, new uh, project and uh, let us see the actual simplify pro, this is actual simplify pro and uh, what we have here is the project file and uh, we will just type com circuits. So, here uh, we do not want this directory, it is not in this, so let us change the directory. We are interested in, uh, we have located our files in etc, so we will open that there. So, you see etc path is shown here and uh, file name we have already given here and uh, the same thing is reflected here also full path, uh, uh, entire file name uh, I mean with a full path is mentioned here. And notice that combination circuits, it's, uh, it automatically puts an extension dot prj and uh, to indicate it is a project and uh, so we just uh, all these things are uh, to our uh, requirement, so we just say ok. Now, you see a uh, window opened here and uh, let us uh, 
will make this bigger. So you uh, you see some other uh, menu here, and uh, we'll uh, just stick on to our uh, outlined uh, summary here. So what we have to do is click on file new. We have already done that to open a new project. A new window opens. Click on project file that also we have done. Type combinations of goods in file name field, and also the type decide file location where you wish the new project to reside and uh, click on OK, the project window opens that is what we have done. So, the next step is, so we will go on to uh, a new implementation, we will come back to this. Let us go to this uh, real window and uh, what it says is, uh, uh, it is in uh, uh, ETC and it also gives a revision number. Notice that um, uh, we, um, uh, each time we may be doing this, uh, working on the same project, but on perhaps a different uh, device. Uh, uh, change from one vendor device to another and uh, in that case what we need is uh, uh, we need to uh, keep track of the revision number otherwise um, uh, your previous results will be overwritten and uh, this tool is very handy uh, which takes care of this by each time it gives a new revision number and, uh, and prior to uh, going through this uh, simplify pro let us see what features it has. We are looking at the revision 1 and um, emphasizing the need for uh, keeping track of di different revisions, so that we do not uh, overwrite by mistake the same uh, results that we have already gathered. And uh, before we go into the details of uh, Simplify Pro, we will first see what are its features. Here you have, uh, we have already mentioned that we are using a Simplify for synthesis and uh, what synthesis are, what it can do for you, let us have a look at this. These are all the features of synthesis. Uh, in fact, this is applicable for any synthesis tool, whether it is uh, simplify here for FPGA field or um, for ASIC, let us say we need synopsis and so on. And uh, so, the first feature as far as this, uh, uh, this is the listing for basically the uh, uh, simplify uh, making use of FPGAs. And uh, these are all the salient features for uh, simplify. Uh, tool or uh, any other uh, synthesis tool such as uh, Leonardo spectrum uh, as well. And uh, to start with, we, uh, what we can do with this um, uh, synthesis tool is, you can map it onto a particular device. And once again, uh, there may be so many vendors, uh, then uh, you may have to choose the vendor. And uh, in this particular tool, there is no specific selection for the vendor but uh, direct selection of the devices of all the uh, I mean, vendors and all the devices that they support. And uh, uh, you have uh, in FPGA device, there are so many devices, uh, to, uh, so many types of them and uh, that also you can uh, select here. And uh, within this type, there may be again several devices and uh, each device may have um, a certain capacity, say maybe some of them 5000 gates, some of them uh, 50000 gates some of the 1 million and uh, some others some 3.6 million gates and so on. So, depending upon the capacity, they have a different uh, device and uh, it uh, carries a certain uh, device number by the uh, uh, vendor. And uh, these are all uh, mind you, uh, um, all um, vendor specific and uh, required capacity and also you can have select the package. Package in sense, uh, uh, just like you have a TTL packages. I um, mean uh, DAP packages and uh, you have uh, so many other uh, packages as well, SMD uh, and uh, very many packages and very many uh, pin configuration and uh, each of them uh, will have a specific name or uh, some um, symbol to identify and we will see that shortly how they are identified and uh, uh, basically they uh, give the number of pins as well for the package and uh, these are all the things that you can select. Uh, from the menu of the synthesis tool, uh, especially that of uh, simplify. And uh, once you have selected the device and uh, there may be um, uh, several categories of speeds available for uh, the same device and uh, it may go under the name, I mean, uh, uh, I mean under an extension of number say dash 4, dash 8, dash 1 and so on. So, that indicates the speed of the device that we are handling. So, uh, uh, and again, uh, in one vendor platform, it may one may mean the highest uh, speed, 
in another uh, 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 vendors platform it may mean the reverse that is the lower speed. So, uh, what you had to do is you had to look into the uh, vendor uh, specification sheet in order to ascertain uh, what that particular uh, number means. And uh, this is the first th step uh, that we um, uh, do I mean uh, have in synthesis tool. And uh, next one very important thing is logic optimization. So, this is what you have already done manually by using KMAP then Queen McCluskey methods and uh, computer aided uh, um, algorithm if the number of variables are uh, beyond 6 or uh, 7 and uh, they are all sophisticated algorithms and uh, using CAD tools uh, it had been uh, optimized the logic has been optimized uh, and uh, hitherto. And uh, uh, same similar such uh, things happen in uh, synthesis tool as well and uh, uh, once you have optimized you can uh, have a view of this circuit diagram that um, schematic circuit diagram and uh, there are two views as such one is called RTL view RTL you are already familiar it stands for uh, register transfer level and uh, we have seen uh, uh, earlier uh, guidelines for the same and uh, that is uh, normally the RTL view that you will have and uh, another important thing in this is uh, we need to uh, know beforehand uh, uh, what we really want to say uh, uh, for example you want um, uh, details of uh, the actual um, uh, primitive cells used then uh, you may have to go for next view called uh, technology view. So, we will see all this in detail as we go on and uh, once you have the um, uh, you can study this schematic circuit diagrams we will go into details of all this and uh, then uh, see whether uh, it has really done the optimization whether it has uh, mapped it onto the desired device uh, I mean a vendor I mean actual device with the uh, requisite capacity or uh, uh, and speed and so on. And uh, also uh, we, uh, it also creates optimized verilog file. So, once you have optimized what is the guarantee that your um, um, uh, design is uh, not over optimized uh, in the sense that it has not sacrificed some of your signals or the functionality there is no guarantee. So, the proof of the putting this in its eating. So, so also here um, you had to uh, I mean uh, not only view and analyze here and uh, but also create a, a source file which is uh, once again the verilog file after optimization is done. So, this synthesis tool automatically does um, uh, optimized uh, I mean uh, creates optimized verilog file and uh, it also creates an output file called edif file this is uh, electronic data information format. So, this is a standard format which um, a third party vendor uh, will always um, uh, stick on to some standards and um, this file can be exported to uh, next um, uh, tool uh, which is uh, uh, normally um, uh, from a different vendor. For example, uh, you can use this edif file created here. Uh, using the synthesis corresponding to your design and uh, that can be um, uh, uh, transported to the um, um, uh, place and route platform. For example, you can go for uh, Xilinx place and route in the next step that also will be taken um, uh, in future. And uh, once I mean these are all the two vital things that we need and uh, uh, this info, I mean uh, edif file will contain information about the uh, actual technology that is um, uh, I mean uh, cell uh, used in the FPGS and which was mapped by the synthesis tool and that is what we have here. It creates optimized verilog file and edif file ready for simulation and uh, note that this verilog file what we had created after optimization we can take it once again to the model sim simulation and uh, verify whether the functionality is intact or not that is what we meant earlier here yeah. that uh, this is the way to guarantee that uh, your um, uh, 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 basic design has not changed uh, functionally and uh, so although it, uh, the tool has optimized your uh, file and only the optimized file will go on to the next stage of place and route such as uh, Xilinx place and route uh, via this edif file which will be created along uh, when you synthesize. So and uh, we see that creates optimized verilog file and edif file ready for simulation and uh, vendor specific place and route respectively. 
So, this uh, this edit file is for the vendor specific place and route and which we have already seen such as Xilinx and we will go back to the simplify pro and uh, resume from where we left and uh, what we uh, did was we have created combination circuits project and it is ready for the uh, very first synthesis and it is uh, reporting revision 1 uh, as a combination circuits which is your design. And uh, here uh, we will uh, once again go into the actual uh, command summary of simplify where here we invoke the uh, synthesis uh, this is a simplify command summary we invoke by double clicking on the icon and then we moved on to uh, creating a, a project file and then now we are on the step 3 which says I um, mean uh, new implementation. Uh, we have already seen uh, in the slide that uh, we can select a specific vendor and device and speed and so on that is precisely what we are going to deal right now. So, let us read on this and then look at the uh, corresponding windows. Click on new implementation options for implementation window opens. Uh, in that window click on device. So, this is what we meant by device selection and uh, it has um, a whole list of um, you know, all the devices and uh, uh, categorized uh, uh, under different uh, vendors um, and uh, by looking at the device you can easily make it out uh, what, who the vendor is. And uh, let us say if, uh, we want Xilinx Vertex. So, this is the latest in Xilinx Vertex uh, E and uh, you can choose E also if you wish and uh, select Xilinx Vertex in technology field and uh, this is the actual device XCV 800 stands for uh, uh, X for Xilinx and uh, V stands for the uh, Vertex uh, C I am not sure maybe a commercial uh, uh, device or whatever and uh, 800 stands for uh, 800,000 uh, gates that means in one FPGA you have total of 800,000 gates uh, plus and uh, some more uh, RAMs are also uh, available in addition to this. And uh, so, uh, in, uh, then we also said uh, we need to give this uh, specify the speed and there are uh, there may be several speeds let I mean let us if I say dash 4 it may mean a particular speed and what exactly uh, speed it is we will have to infer only from the vendors data specification sheet. And uh, we also said that we can select the actual package. So, here HQ is one of the packages and uh, it has 240 pins totally all uh, IOs then uh, ground uh, VCC all those pins um, uh, clocks and uh, rest of it all put together is 240 pins. So, uh, we need to select the package that is what is written here in package field. You can change to any other vendor device accordingly as per your needs depending upon your actual requirement your customer requirement you will have to select the particular vendor uh, device and uh, the speed and the uh, specific uh, devices. Then once you do this just say click on ok let us see how it is. So, we are in uh, new implementation. So, let us uh, open a new implementation window here and uh, we will zoom this. So, once again you see the same simplify pro uh, window here and uh, you have one more window here and actually there is another window this is the actual uh, internal main menu to add files and so on and uh, the window of interest is this options for implementation that is what we have already read earlier. So, if you see here uh, you see that there is a technology uh, menu here if you click on to this here you will get all the uh, devices I mean um, vendor devices here listed here we will see shortly. And then uh, once you uh, select particular device that will appear here and uh, here in this case it is Xilinx vertex that has been selected. So, uh, that is reported here and uh, in this we need to go for a specific device let us say XCV 800 as we have seen before. So, once again if you click here it will list all the devices under this type and uh, you can choose any of the uh, devices that you really want. And uh, if you do not select anything uh, the tool itself will uh, put some XAV 50 as a default and uh, later on you can for small designs that 50,000 gates would be adequate and for uh, bigger designs you may have to move on for uh, 
even several million and uh, gets here. And depending upon the application, uh, as we see, I mean, uh, as we progress, we will see how many gates a particular uh, design has taken later on. And uh, once again, for uh, speed, you have you can click on this arrow here, and it will list all the speeds available for this particular device. And you once again you select only that, and uh, then again you have a package here. Once again, you can use this arrow, click, and get um, an assortment of uh, packages available for that particular device and uh, also that speed and you can select one of them and uh, there are more here uh, for the time being we will not uh, ignore this. So, this is the options uh, for implementation right uh, we had click on new uh, implementation and uh, let us get new implementation and we selected all the package speed and so on. So, let us see uh, act, uh, before we go on to next step. Uh, this is fourth step uh, wherein you add your design files. Before we go on to that, let us um, execute what we have already learnt in the previous step. So, what we did is we need to, uh, we have already selected the project file uh, and uh, we need to select a new device. For example, as I mentioned here uh, earlier, it has uh, as a default it has selected Xilinx Vertex XCV50 and uh, package is BG256, it is 256 pins and uh, dash 4 for the speed and uh, a maximum fan out also it gives that uh, fan out you know from your uh, TTL fundas that it is the number of uh, TTL loads that you can collect uh, an output of a uh, gate and uh, and uh, here in this case um, this fan out refers to not a TTL gate, but the uh, gates pertaining to this particular FPGA um, primitives or what you call cells. And uh, now let us say uh, we uh, want to change this to let us say uh, some other device. Let us, uh, so we click on new implementation. This is new implementation here. And uh, once you click on the same um, uh, window has opened. You see Xilinx Vertex here. And as I mentioned here, it's uh, pretty difficult for you to read. So I'll read on your behalf. And you can see here uh, quite a big list. In fact, uh, it's an uh, almost an exhaustive list of all the vendors in the world. So, for example, it says Actel. So, you know that uh, Actel is an FPGA manufacturer and so also Altera, then Xilinx. So, first it lists all Actel here and within this one uh, type of um, device is also listed here for example, uh, 3200 and uh, 40 MX and so on, then Act 1, Act 2, Act 3 and Actel EX, PA all these are applicable for Actel and each of this series will have in turn uh, a number of devices as we have already explained earlier. So, that will have to be configured here. So, what we are right now doing is primarily uh, uh, selecting the vendors uh, type number. I mean uh, that is what we are, uh, are trying to select here. And if you go on to um, next vendor say you have Altera here, some Apex 20 K and Flex 10 K and uh, uh, flex 8000, 6000, 3000, 7000, 9000, so many series they have. Then uh, so, uh, further uh, one more also is there. And uh, you have another uh, vendor called Atmel and uh, Atmel 40k series is there. This of course, is a short list, they have only just three, uh, three of them. And uh, you have another vendor called Cypress and they have uh, again uh, four such entries. And each of this stand for the type number of the device, not the actual device. Within the type number, there may be many more uh, devices, and uh, depending upon the capacity, that is a gate count. And uh, in addition to that, we have uh, another vendor called Lattice, it is uh, over, uh, I think this is uh, Lucent Technologies, Orcos series. So, uh, and uh, then you have one more vendor, this is over a dozen uh, vari uh, varieties of uh, types they have, and uh, in uh, Lattice, and then once again, a quick maybe. Uh, uh, 10 numbers are available here, all of them different type numbers and then later I mean Trice and some two are there and finally, uh, Xilinx you have uh, quite a plenty here, here and you have uh, major um, types are Spartan series, there are uh, varieties in that also and uh, you have uh, as we have already seen Xilinx Vertex here and there is one man, uh, Vertex 2 and 2P also and the latest one is Vertex C. E. And there are other uh, Xilinx versions say XC 3000, 4000 series and so on. 
uh, normally uh, these are all lower capacities. So, uh, then you have uh, 5200 series then 9500 uh, series. So, up to that it is quite a long list in Xilinx and uh, let us say we select the uh, highest speed here. Uh, I think it, uh, it currently I think it is Xilinx Vertex E. So, we will click on to this. So, earlier it was Xilinx Vertex, now uh, we have clicked on to Xilinx Vertex E. We have selected uh, that particular type of the uh, specific under Xilinx. So, that is what we saw in uh, earlier here in the. Um, so, here we saw that vendor and type of device, the actual device, and then uh, package, then speed. And uh, so, here uh, next one is to select the particular uh, device. So, once again, if you click here, you will see a list here. Uh, and that is uh, you see XCV 50 here, then 100 here. So, uh, uh, 50 stands for 50,000 gates and uh, plus RAM also will be available and uh, here uh, 200, 300, 400 and so on. It goes right up to 3600, uh, 200 here. Vertex E has 3200 device uh, currently and uh, in future uh, higher density will uh, sure to come. Uh, for that matter for uh, any other vendor and uh, perhaps uh, Xilinx has the highest capacity and perhaps speed and uh, closely followed by Altera. And uh, there are uh, um, uh, so many devices which you can select from. Let us say we select uh, this design does not demand much. So, we can select either 50,000 itself is very high. Uh, at random we select uh, some uh, let us say 600. So, although there is no compulsion that we should select only 600. So, now we move on to uh, the selection of the speed that is uh, listed here and uh, right now it is shown as minus 8. Let us see uh, what uh, others uh, are there. Uh, here you have 8, 6, uh, 7, 6. I think in Xilinx uh, higher number stands for the uh, higher speed. Uh, perhaps this is uh, inverse uh, notation employed in Altera probably. Um, higher the number lower speed I think. Uh, you uh, The best thing is for you to verify by referring to the data sheet of the specific vendor for that particular device. So, let us say uh, we select this, uh, we can also uh, even if we do not look at the uh, vendor's data sheet, we can get uh, by running the synthesis tool and uh, looking at the report how much speed it has offered. So, from that also you can make it out uh, which is a higher uh, speed. So, let us uh, for the time being let us say we map it on to minus 8 and uh, then comes the package and uh, you see BG 432 here and uh, it has once again um, a number of them here and uh, let us say we select just 240 pins because uh, we do not have very many IOs and uh, let us uh, remain content with just 240 pin and you can notice that uh, 900 pins are also available here and uh, many other pins 432 and so on and uh, let us select HQ 240. So, what we have done is uh, select uh, uh, vendor and its type number and then the specific device, then um, the speed and the package here. And uh, so, once you have done this, you can just say ok. So, once you did that one, because we selected earlier it was there in revision 1, it has automatically gone to revision 2 because uh, uh, had you uh, used this revision 1 earlier that would be overwritten by the new device that you have selected. And uh, that is the reason why it um, uh, safeguarded your uh, investment and um, by um, um, uh, having a separate revision as such. So, that is what we have here. And uh, let us go on to the uh, next in this. So, what we have seen is uh, zoomed version here which uh, uh, you have seen this. Uh, Xilinx vertex, we have modified it as dash E and then um, device selected is 600 there and again I think dash 8 and the package is precisely the same. So, we have seen uh, options for uh, new window. Similarly, you can uh, have another window which is uh, precisely the same here for um, if you have um, uh, gone had you gone for implementation options instead of new uh, implementation you would have got the very same thing here. And uh, so, next step is 
we need to um, uh, what we have seen so far is so click on new implementation options for implementation window opens in that window click on device select Xilinx vertex in technology field uh, XCV 800 in part field then uh, dash 4 in speed field and HQ uh, 240 in package field. You can change to any other vendor device accordingly as per your needs which also we have seen and then finally we click OK then it has accepted that and uh, formed a, um, a new uh, revision as such and uh, we will continue with this in our next class.